So today we're going to be reviewing a book called The Woman in Cabin Temp by Ruth Ware. Now I read this book uh, because recently I went on a, um, a Royal Caribbean International Cruise on the Ovation of the Seas, an amazing boat. I went to um, the South Pacific, amazing time. So what better um, way to spend your time on a cruise than reading a cruise mystery? Lo Blacklock, a journalist who writes for a travel magazine, has just been given the assignment of a lifetime. A week on a luxury cruise with only a handful of cabins. The sky is clear, the waters calm. Selected guest jovial as the exclusive cruise ship, the Aurora, begins her voyage in the pristine northern sea. At first, Joe's stay is nothing but pleasant. The cabins are plush, the dinner parties are sparkling, and the guests are elegant. But as the week wears on, frigid winds whip the deck, grey skies fall, and low witnesses what she can only describe as a dark and terrifying nightmare. A woman being thrown overboard. The problem? All passengers remain accounted for. And so the ship sails on as if nothing has happened despite Lowe's desperate attempts to convey that something, or somebody, has gone terribly, terribly wrong. Right, so I can basically put this book into three main parts. Uh, the first part um, was the majority of the book, which was your um, main plot, um, the thrilling part, the mystery. Then we go into the middle to the end, which is more of a, a thriller that... I didn't really enjoy that much. And then you've got your plot twist at the end, which was superb. So the uh, initial plot that took up most of the uh, book was amazing. It was innovative. Um, it was something that you don't read much in um, a mystery book. Like you don't usually have it on a cruise ship. And the um, twists and turns it took in this initial plot really surprised me. It had me on the uh, edge of my seat and it was, it was totally a page turner. Fortunately, then it got to the middle to the end and it turned into more of a high pace thriller, which was quite unbelievable and disappointing, really. A lot of it was far-fetched and you kind of just wanted to get to the end after that. And that's what I hate about some of these books is you have this in great initial plot, which is page turning, and then you get kind of to, to a slum. And this was the book Slum. Luckily, it didn't last for too long, but it was enough to reduce the caliber of the book a little bit. However, the plot took it up. The plot twist was amazing. It got to the end and it explained the plot twist and my head just, boom, it exploded. I didn't guess it and usually I guess all of the, um, the twists and turns and who did it at the end. I did not guess this one. Uh, it was well thought out. Um, it was well executed, and overall it was surprising. So if I was to rate this book, I would definitely have to give it a 5.3 out of 6 cowbell stars. Now, this book would have got more, but it was because of that disappointing, thrilling, middle-to-end part that did decrease it. The plot was well worth it, and the plot twists, and who did it at the end was superb, and that's what makes this... Uh, score a little bit higher than the rest even though the middle to end was a little bit disappointing It was really good going on the cruise having read this book and walking around um, The cabin the different cabins the different areas kind of thinking about this book and what could have been happening in this book while on the ship So definitely 5.3 and I would recommend reading it. This is a thriller uh, Mystery that you definitely should read before you die now a little plug for Royal Caribbean International, 100% recommend them over other cruise ships. It was an amazing trip. Uh, if you're in Alaska or in Australia, 100% uh, recommend um, the Ovation of the Seas. It runs in the South Pacific um, in one half of the year and an uh, Alaska cruise in the other half of the year. The crew was amazing. The boat was superb. It was just an amazing time. All right, until next time.